Hi, Peter. You know what we're doing here? Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Let me show them what we're doing. By the way, thank you to one of the YouTube subscribers for sending me the Shuby, the Armor Series drop cloth. Very, really nice. Let me show you what we're doing here. It's gonna be real nice. We don't do it. We don't do this kind of work that often, but I am the pipe doctor. I lay the pipe. And Mike, we get paid to lay a good pipe, don't we? No. <laughs> All right, this is the master suite. Okay. I don't know how they did it, Mike. I don't know how they did it. This tubing, this half inch PEX tubing, you know what this was for? Yeah, they actually got it off the floor without draining down the system. <laughs> okay, left side, uh, freestanding tub with tub filler. Here, shower, steam, two thermostatic controls, three body sprays, a rain head, a shower head, a handheld, a steam unit, the water closet, wall mounted carrier on that wall right there. They did get us a two by six wall carrier. So we'll have to relocate the waist, which is four inch from the floor to the wall carrier, the wall here, double vanity. I have the specifications there, wall mounted vanity, uh, deck mounted faucets. Radiant half inch Upanor PEX A, and we're going to use all expansion PEX except of here, which because it's not here yet, for the double vanity. So, first order of operation, we're going to mark out where the waters need to go, and we'll do the, the wall carrier for the toilet, and then call it a day. How do you, how's that feel, Peter? Good. You feel good? Yep. Yes. Say hi, hi, Nanny. And Nana. Nana. Nana, Nana Claire. And let's give a special shout out to Brianna. Bri is it Brianna? Brianna, not Brianna Danny's girlfriend. Brianna, one of the YouTube subscribers, daughter, unfortunately has cerebral palsy, but she's a viewer of the channel. Hi, Brianna. How are you? YouTube. Hey, wave Mike. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Today is Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. And we're back at literally, in my opinion, and I looked at some raw numbers, a quarter million dollar bathroom renovation going to be epic and as the plumber and the heating consultant we are in charge of the installation of all the shower fixtures the wall hung carrier the double vanity which is already re-roughed the freestanding tub freestanding tub filler the bubbler for the freestanding tub steam shower and radiant heat Okay, this is day three. Mike G, the other Mike, was here yesterday and the day before. We got some of the work done. Um, the location for the tub, the tub filler, the double vanity has been completed so far. I'm here today. We're going to do the shower fixtures. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. All right, let me tell you what's going on here. Uh, on this wall, I'm going to locate a steam outlet somewhere over here. Here, somewhere here, we have three marks uh, for three body sprays. One, two, and three. On this wall, I have a thermostatic control, a three-quarter inch thermostatic control on this side, a three-quarter thermostatic control on this side, volume control, volume control, volume control, volume control, handheld outlet, Shower head, rain head. So volume control for one, volume control for the other, volume control for this one, volume control for that one. Easy peasy. It is 811. <laughs> Let's get it done, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Peter. No, 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 no. So you thought we we're going to do it there. We have mark here, mark here, mark here. I just cut some two by fours, 13 inches, and I'd like to give a shout out to not a sponsor of the channel, Team Red. Yeah. Team Red. <laughs> Team Red. Team Red. Team Red. Team Red. Team Red. It's like a trifecta of Team Red. All right. What are you doing with that? Oh, sure. well, I'll wait further instruction. Okay. You have a piece of two by four right there. Cut 13 inches. Line it up right here. Center with that. Okay. Get your hammer. Get your hammer. Right there. 
hit it in a little bit. Okay, well you need to go the same depth as this one. A little hair over two inches, like two and an eighth. Okay, now do the other side. Lift this more. Yeah. How's it look now? Moss? Not too much. How's that? Is it good? Yeah. Very nice. Okay, now, you want me to show you how to use the nail the first time, or you want me to, or you want to do it, try it yourself? Yeah, all the nail you Yes. Uh... You want to go Freddy Cougar on my ass? You want to go Freddy Cougar on Mike's ass, don't you? You know what Freddy Cougar is? No, no comment. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, no comment. All right, I threw a nail there and there. I did one, on the, one each on the bottom, so... Try to do that. Put an angle like this? Yep, an angle like that. Uh, oh, let, me, let me show you. Here, hold this for a second. Okay. I'm just going to tow it on a little bit of an angle like that. Boom. A little bit of an angle like that. Boom. It's going to get a little hard to get in there, but let's see. Actually, it's going to be very hard to get in there. Let's just do one right about there. She ain't going anywhere. Easy peasy. We're gonna do one more there. All right, our three Alice for the body sprays are in place. What we got? Let me get a. <laughs> We're gonna take some half-inch brass nipples, just throw them in there, just to make sure that they're all coming out perfectly straight and aligned with everything. And how does that look? Let's take a look how this looks. They all look parallel. Uh, the top one is definitely off. The top one is definitely off. You think so? Yeah. Let's see. So we'll take a tape measure, and I could take a level. And I'm getting 34 and a half. I'm getting 34 and a half, and I also have 34, uh, 34 and a half. The look. I could be deceiving. Okay. Also, keep in mind that. Some of the wood, the bracing that we put in there is not perfectly level, but it's fine because when the nipples get on to the brass nipples go on to the body sprays, we're going to be fine. Okay, next, we're just going to build our manifold because we want equal pressure going to all of the body sprays at the same time. We're using Upanor expansion packs. This is PEX A, ladies and gentlemen. PEX A, you can use an expansion tool like this. PEX B, use crimp rings, okay? And technically, this is not Upanor. This is what the people of Blyberg Plumbing Supply in Oceanside and Lawson sent me. They don't have any more Upanor. So we're going to expand this PEX and we're going to build that manifold. Five times. Slide it over there for a 10 count. And the great thing about expansion PEX A, sorry, now you can see me. The great thing about expansion PEX A is that when you expand it, right, it expands to that size of the PEX tool, it's going to spend its entire life, entire life, trying to get back to that original size. And that's the purpose of that ring, to give that added security so it's not going to want to come off. So the expansion ring is at the end of the PEX, that expands as long as with the PEX, and it will spend its entire life trying to go back to that size. So when I try to pull on this, it's not going to go anywhere. I think I can hang a gorilla like a loop block cover for a pool. I could probably put a gorilla on this thing or a monk, an elephant. They're strong. They're strong. Want to try pulling on that? No. Pull on it. No. Okay, there you go. You can probably break the two by four before you break anything else or you may, you may pop a, a blood vessel in your head. Don't probably. do that. <laughs> okay. Let's show what we got done so far. There's our three 
body sprays. We're making the manifold so all the water hits it all at the same time. Um, I couldn't get through here. This is, I drilled a test hole and it keeps going. <laughs> so we got a lot of spray foam up in the attic. I'm pretty uh, confident once I insulate everything, we should be okay. Um, plus, we're not going to really have any water in that pipe because the water doesn't naturally want to drain out out of this uh, lower body spray. Yeah, there'll be some water here. I'm not worried about that, but uh, we should be good. So I got my Mickey Mouse right there. I'm drilling an inch and three eighths hole, and that's perfect for my half inch and my three quarter Mickey Mouses. I call those Mickey Mouses because they look like they have little Mickey Mouses. See, let me show you. See, look. And Brianna, Brianna, does this, this look like a, like a Mickey Mouse? What do you think, Peter? It looks like a Mickey Mouse, right? Look like Mickey Mouse. It's a Mickey Mouse. All right, you done putzing around? Come on. Don't you know, let's see what time it is. Don't you know it's 8.50? And you, we're not done yet. We should be done, we should be done already. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come across and up and down into this bay. And that's going to complete the body sprays. And next, we're going to shut down the water and clean up all this mess and uh, start working on volume controls and thermostatic controls. Okay, it is what it is. It looks nice. But all the water will be evenly distributed amongst all three body sprays. Now we're going to do the rain head. Uh, it's a reg regular rain head. It's getting half inch. So we measured from here to here, from here to there. I'm sorry. That's 40 inches. Half of that is 20. 20 is right in the middle of this bay. Uh, so we cut a piece of two by 14 and a half, right? 14 and a half. Okay. Now let's measure from there to here. Okay. Right there. What do you got? 69. 69? 69 and one quarter. Oh, 69. What's happening? 69. 68 all you want, or you owe me one? <laughs> Come on, quick, let's have a 69. Are you sure? It's not 68 and all you want? <laughs> well, if you're a hot Latina chica, I don't know, maybe you could give a little ponytail, put a little lipstick on you? Nah, I can't put lipstick on you. <laughs> we gotta get you a, a nice hot chick, though. What? Like a hot chick. Is Daniel's girl hot? <clears throat> she's gonna be my sister-in-law, I can't say that. <laughs> well, no, I got a sister-in-law. I think she's kind of, I'll do her. <laughs> and she knows it too. All right. So half of 69. <laughs> 34 and a half. 34 and a half. All right. So 34 and a half. Let's go up here and we'll measure 34 and a half and we'll put it. No, not that way. This way. Okay. The only thing that really pisses me off is this. Other than that, I think it looks perfect. Um, I upgraded. Well, we upgraded. We did half inch all the way up and across to here. And then when I was doing the, the, ha the uh, shower head, which is an 18 inch, by the way. <laughs> But half inch tapping, I don't get it. Why is it in three quarter? Whatever. But when I was doing this, I said, like, you know what? I'm going to size up to three quarter because I have a three quarter inch volume control. So when I was doing that, I'm like, you know what? Let me just cut this out. And I put a coupling there, right? And we made this three quarter. So with the bigger pipe, we're going to have more volume. With a, a good thing about the expansion pecs or pecs A is that my inside diameter is, um, is larger in diameter than pecs B. All right. If you if you notice, this looks a little bit thicker yeah. than yes. regular half inch pecs, and this looks a little thicker than three quarter. This looks like the same thickness of almost three quarter tubing, copper tubing, mm -hmm. and this looks like the same diameter, outside diameter as half inch copper tubing. But when you're using pecs B, the crimp one, when you put those fittings in there, you're really really restricting the size down. So we're using expansion pecs. So these are all done. One, two, three. We'll tighten these up later, and we'll power everything. That's why these nipples and caps are on each one, including there. Because when we get all done, and right now we're about to cut off the water, we're going to, to pressurize everything. All right, make sure we have no leaks. Because any leaks would be no bueno. That's what we did yesterday. You had leaks? We had one that was like a snot on the end of... Piece of pipe? A pipe that we pressed. Uh, but it was just air we got. So we fixed that when we did. Good. So, and then we'll get this carrier done. So we're going to cut off the water to the, the house, this large McMansion, and then we're going to work on the thermostatic control. Um, right now, if I were to open these, we're going to get water coming out. So we're not going to do that don't, again. Don't, don't do that. Don't open it. Did Mike do it? No, actually. No? Not. Okay, very good. <laughs> so we're going to cut off the water, and then we're going to start working on the volume controls. We're going to put a volume control here. Sorry, thermostatic control here thermostatic control here and volume control volume control volume control 
into the notched out two by six or yeah two by six is this six or eight where's the tape measure tape measure oh tape measure measure the thickness of this what is this two by six see five and a half it's two by six all right before i cut off the water to the mansion let's take a look at quote unquote what the designer you know ordered for the homeowner so here's the box generic no, no marking three-quarter thermostatic concealed valve there it is and there's the valve by watermark that's the only name on any of the paperwork here there it is there's a flow rate versus pressure chart and uh we're gonna put one of these in there another one there separate line from the water main to this one we'll use this one for the other one and tie in all the volume controls 933. Oh, ain't this awesome? They give their dog Palm Spring water too. Just like my doggies. All right. So, I already turned off the water, but I wanted to show you something. I need to run a line off this inch and a quarter, right? And off this inch and a quarter. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, recircling. I need to run a line from this inch and a quarter and this inch and a quarter all the way up to the attic and then across. And I just found those. <laughs> I just found those, ladies and gentlemen. Those are two four inch PVC lines that go up to the attic and they discharged the vent and there was a fresh air intake for the old Whale McLean Ultra 3 that used to be hanging on this wall. Uh, they now have uh, one of these machines, but um, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I am actually so excited right now because I don't have to open up the wall in this, I'm sorry, the ceiling in this room and I don't gotta open up the ceiling in the kitchen all the way across to there. I don't gotta do that now. That's awesome, awesome. I'm gonna save the wife a lot of aggravation, a lot of misery, a lot of misery. You know what they say, misery loves company and I don't like misery and I'm not their company. Let's go tell Peter the great news. Let's tell Peter the great news. Peter, Peter, I got some phenomenal news, Peter. Phenomenal news. It's really epic news. I found the pipe chase. Up here is abandoned because the old Whale McLean Ultra 3 used it. Mm -hmm. It's four inch, it goes straight up to the attic. Really? Yeah. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jump for joy. Nice. Jump for joy. All right, we have to open up faucets downstairs. Go, to, go downstairs, open up faucets, especially the kitchen. There's, there's two kitchen sinks, yeah. so open both. Uh, leave them open. Or just... Leave them open. Awesome. All right, so once that's done, We'll open these up, cut this out, and start framing out our supports for the two thermostatic controls and the body sprays. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And you should be excited for me too. You really should. There's less work I have to do, and I don't want to destroy this, lady, this, this, this lady's house. You know, we're building a nice, nice, bath. look at this bathroom. And you know what's amazing? The pecs. The demo contractor demoed this whole bathroom and didn't disturb the pecs, which is still under pressure. Amazing. Amazing. And um, when I'm done with the bill, it'll probably pay for 10% of my Porsche. <laughs> if you're watching, Mr. Homeowner, <laughs> don't hate. <laughs> All right, I have the shower body cut out. Um, here is the three quarter inch feeding the three body sprays. Here is the three quarter inch feeding the half inch um, drop your elbow which is being utilized for the rain head. I cut both of these off. This is, this is hot and this is cold. All right, good. We're just gonna take some scratchy paper. We're gonna clean the copper, All right? We'll clean the copper and then I'm gonna deburr it with a deburring tool. Okay, and then we're gonna take these two. This is by Upanor. This is a three-quarter press by Expansion Pecs. 
um, adapter or a coupling, okay? One is gonna go there, and another one's gonna go there, okay? We're gonna take some measurements. We're gonna put a thermostatic control on the left, thermostatic control on the right. I'm definitely gonna have to drill through this to give us some more room to make it more centered and more in position, but uh, we should be all right. All right, 1019, this stupid freaking thing puts put compass on. Here is the first thermostatic shower control. We use the oscillating tool, all right? Not Team Red. This is the original, I believe, by Fine, the Multimaster. The Multimaster 500. <laughs> I um, put a piece of two by here because this was all notched out, right? And I didn't really like that. This is my center of 40, which is 20. Here is, I just put a, a piece of two by here and I used the oscillating tool to notch out there. Then I drilled a hole, inch and a three eighths hole there. And I got my male adapters on all four sides. Top will be, and it's open inside there. So it's not like if I plug this, it's whatever, but bottom and top or top and bottom outlets both have same equal pressure. You can look inside, I'll show you on the other one. Where's the other actually shower body? Cause oh, well, you already have them on there. But if you look through there, it, oh, you can't see it though, but there's, there's some light there in there. See that light? It's in there. Okay. So I'm going to do my hot supply from there. My cold is next. And then we're going to do volume control somewhere here. Another volume control there. Other thermostatic control. Volume control, volume control, handheld. And then we'll, if they're lucky enough, right? Because it's 1021 and I would like to take the Porsche out. For a ride, and you can check it out on Mikey's Garage channel. You know, it's a write-off if I if I monetize the car. <laughs> it's a write-off if I monetize the car. You, just, you can just go pick up something and bring it back, and that's a business. Exactly. As long as I record along the way and I post it on YouTube, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking IRS is gonna, <laughs> gonna come after me. <laughs> like, listen, if I got cameras and that thing rolling twenty four seven, and I'm live streaming to YouTube, yeah, go ahead. Could that, I, I could. You're right. Yeah, that's a piece right there. Yep. That's going to go there. Okay, you want to do the honors? Okay, do the honors. <clears throat> there we go. Peter's got the... Is that the M12? Yeah, it's the M12. We also have the M18. It's in the truck. We have that as backup. The M18, I find, is a little bit faster. Yeah. M18 fuel. Okay. You're racing against time. So we'll get the hot water supply done. We'll do the cold next. And then we'll start doing some body sprays. We have four body sprays, volume controls. We have four volume controls to recap. One for the uh, body sprays, one for rain head, one for shower head, one for handheld. You know, because the girls, when they're, when they're on the bench, you know, they got to get up there with the stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> girls love the handhelds. So we also got to do the shower head. And I didn't ask him where he wants to shower, which wall, but I'm going to guess we're going to put it on that wall. <laughs> Peter's got a splinter. And that was Mike on the phone. He's a... Uh, what? I think it's metal. You got a piece of metal? It's so small you wouldn't even see it. Aw, why don't you use your teeth? No? All right, back to work. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of a dilemma. I'm in a pickle right now. Um, here is my center for everything. I need to be right there. Okay, right there at the shower body. Because we're 11 inches off of this wall. We're going to be 11 inches off the bench. I want them to be centered. You know, they look even, right? So I drill through here, and I can't go up here because I'm in that. But I'm drilling, and there's a freaking nail right there. See that freaking nail right there from the nail gun? I'm an idiot. If, I was, if I'm going to use my brand new bit, all right, the Milwaukee 3.8, I call it the opener. If I use this bit on that nail, 
My brand new opening bit, my brand new 3 8 bit is never gonna be the same again. And I like how easily she drills through wood like that when they're brand new. You know what I'm talking about. When you got a brand new bit going through wood, you're chugging along, it's like, it's literally like, oh, it's like walking on the beach barefoot. You know, it's just so nice or, so we're gonna get the cat's paw. I'm gonna try to pull that, that freaking nail out right there because I don't like that nail there. <laughs> and it's pissing me off. Damn it. Oh, I'm so pissed. Because we're going to go up. Because we're going to go up across with our hot and cold water. So it is what it is. <laughs> and now we have a cat's paw. Yep. I sent Peter to the truck earlier to get this. And what did he get? What did you get? A crowbar. A crowbar. Which is a much larger version of a cat's paw. Yeah. Why do they call it a cat's paw? I don't know. Like a hoof. Yeah, it looks like a hoofed, a hoof, like on a, Horse? yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to jam this in there. I'm going to get that out. Just in case they don't believe I can do shit like this. All right. There it is. Look at that. Nice. I'm going to nail her. It's long. It is very long. All right? This would have destroyed that brand new opener. Yeah, most definitely. Would have destroyed it, but... Worth the cat's paw. Yeah. And in case they're bullshitting, right? It's the same day, same time, look. And I didn't spend an hour getting this out either. All right, let's uh, get the opener and finish opening her up. All right. We're going to insulate everything, but there's our two lengths... 40 feet of three quarter Aquapex, and that's for this uh, thermostatic control. It's ready in place. We gotta still get connect to, we gotta still gotta connect to the boiler room, our hot and cold, but we're good. I got stud guards on almost everything, even what wasn't mine, right there and there, for example, and down there, and probably not needed down there because they, they're doing a fiberglass custom pan. Um, but nonetheless, that's that. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, expand that and shove it in there. And then we'll get another little piece put at the bottom. And next we're going to line up our four volume controls. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. They got to go right here, centered. That's center, 20 inches. Right in the center, just like that shower head. Oh, and it is two minutes to 12. All right. 222. I gotta tell you, the people on YouTube, those keyboard trolls, they're really gonna rip me a new one. Look at make it look like this. Hold on, wait till Peter gets out of the way when he connects that 90. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Peter, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait for you. No, no, no. Yeah. Right now, right now, Peter's there concealing the disaster that I made inside this wall. But there's a, there's, a, there's a reason for the madness. You need to tighten the cap, because when you tighten the cap, you're tightening up yeah. both the nipple and the cap at the same time. But don't kill it either, okay? All right. I am kind of a little bit embarrassed to show this off, but you know what? I keep it real. That's what Mikey Pipe does. Uncut, unedited, raw. There's a lot of shit going on in this wall right here. So you will got to just bear with me. You ready? Is it tight? Okay. Make a hole. <laughs> there is a lot going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make that crystal clear. I know, I know, I know. Just let me just keep it real, right? There is our three-quarter domestic hot and cold water coming up. Those two go to this left three-quarter thermostatic control. The one thermostatic control on the left, this is the way the designer wanted it. My Two outlets, one goes to my body spray. So a body spray, right? Volume control for body spray. And by the way, 20 inches. Set screw to wall on every single one. So my body sprays go to this thermostatic control across, up, across, up, across, down, right? And here we have it. I have this manifold loop right here, pressure balancing manifold. So all the pressure and the volume are equal to all three of them right? And it looks a little cockeyed right here. 
That's because it is. <laughs> All right. Um, but we are actually. This needs to be. Well, yeah, actually, not really. It's not going to be an issue. Before when I. But you measure it and then yeah, it's just coming out. It's tapped coming out on an angle. Yeah. But because this is a six inch nipple, we're only going to have a little nipple there. But the centers on each are what matters. Okay. So the lower outlet left thermostatic control is body sprays. The one above is rain head with its own volume control. Thermostatic control, volume control. Up across. Uh oh, hold on. Rain, 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 rain. Follow it. Boom. There. Okay, and see, it is 255. Now, that is the one on the left. This is the way the designer and the homeowners wanted it. You know, you know it was the designer, it wasn't me. The one thermostatic control on the right. We have a three quarter inch line right here. Domestic hot, cold, domestic hot. These go all the way across, across the insulated attic, which is not conditioned space, but it's not, it's not freezing either. It goes down a pipe chase. And it's getting connected to three quarter hot and three quarter cold from both off of inch and a quarter lines with their own valves. The top outlet, right? That one is for it's coming up here across. This is my shower head, <laughs> right? There are, you may be asking about your pipes, why are you going in circles? There are arrows on here. You see that arrow? Direction of flow. I'm not taking any chances in a quarter million dollar bathroom where. The arrow direction of flow is going to F it all up. And if I were to reverse it, well, guess what? One's going to be closed this way. The other one's going to close the other way. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Godzilla. It took him a long time to figure that out, Godzilla. But it was lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. And that's all true right here. All 20 inches from center from the wall. Bottom outlet. Here we go. We're coming down across volume control. I took a chance. I'm actually going in on the outlet right there, right? I'll eat it. I'll eat it if this is wrong, <laughs> right? I'll eat it if it's wrong, and it comes across down to my handheld. Hi, how you doing? Oh, okay. What's I'm, I'm going to have to cut it with the Sawzall. Like what? The what? copper. Why? Why? I can't get the pipe cutter. The auto cutter? Yeah. Use a bandsaw. Okay. Oh, the bandsaw's in my nice truck, thing. yes. Team Red. Team Red! A couple more things. A couple more things left to do. Stud guard. Stud guard, stud guard. These are a little deep, but you know what? Fuck it. Stud guard, stud guard, stud guard, stud guard. That's way... Stud guard, you know, stud guard all this shit. Fuck it. What I'm charging... With the hammer? You know, with the yes. No, you can use your head if you want. All right. Over in the water closet, we have the other mic. Any comment? No, he's quiet over there. He's frustrated. He uh, I don't want to talk on it anymore. <laughs> There's our Gerberit water closet wall carrier. And we're going to get that done. Oh. Good stuff. Peter, you know what time it is? Testing time? Yes! Testing time. Hold the bucket. I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. Okay. So now I'm going to open up volume control. Yep, there we go. Good. I'm going to check for any leaks. We're all good over here. Good. Let's let it run for a little bit. There we go. Just going to flush all the shit out of it. So far, so good. We'll close. Excellent. And we'll... Get some more Teflon. Put, put it right down. Let's get some Teflon tape. Let's rewrap this. Mm -hmm. And then we'll re-energize. Uh, we'll re I hate it when iPhone storage is full. That's it really sucks. It feels so it quick. sucks balls. But that is off. No. Give you some water. Fight. If you're racing against the clock. <laughs> Okay, don't go, won't go crazy. That's fine, okay? Good. All right, so that's, we got all that crap out of there. So this is all pressurized, which is this one. Let's put our little piece back on and we'll do all the other ones one by one. Hopefully we have no leaks. Easy piece. All right, so Daniel just energized or store, uh, turned on service to this shower valve. Mm -hmm. So let's open. They're both open? Just 
Oh, okay. Thermostatic control is not gonna. Shouldn't let me operate. Okay. Opening hot. Yeah. See. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. It's not gonna. If there's no. If there's only cold water, not hot water, it's not gonna. Oh, it didn't. That's right. Uh, is it fully open? Well, that was the that water. Was that was a scary sound like shush. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, baby. That's coming off an inch and a quarter of water, man. All the way from downstairs. Yep, okay, so that one's good. And now this is the other one, right? This is shower head. This one? Which is that, that one. So let's just... Put the cap back on. Can we put the cap Oh, it's in the middle. I think we're good. I think we're good. You think we're good? Put the cap back on. And then we'll... Uh, we'll turn on... Let's make it nice and snug. You ready? Good? Good. Good. On. So make sure this one's on too. Yep, it's on. Okay. Now we're done. Let's clean up and we're out of here. How do you think we did today? Very good. What time is it? 3.55. I told you. I told you before, right before we had lunch at 12 o'clock, we'll four, four volume controls are going to take four hours. And exactly what happens with lunch. They all work. They all work. And no leaks. No leaks. Hashem!